Hello, good day Warriors and welcome back to your number one sports channel. I am Mr. Bobit B. Berlantier, your sports analyst for this season and you are watching ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. And we are live here once again at the ESPN Sports Center in California, USA, bringing you the hottest and the biggest sports update for today. And in behalf of my co p teachers, Mr. Everest Sintino and Mr. Frank Anthony Mascarinas, we thank you very much for being with us all throughout this journey. Thank you so much for staying with us for the past few months and for listening to our virtual lectures. By the way, this is our last and final episode for PE12 for this semester. And we hope to see you soon for our next virtual classes. For our last and final episode, we're going to make a run through of all the past episodes that we've had here. For the whole semester we're going to narrow down all of the topics that we've discussed here in pe12 let me just inform you as well that for our final episode i have placed five different codes that will be floating all throughout this video what you need to do is to collect these codes and connect it in proper order for you to be able to spell out a two word password that you'll be able to use for the lms examination you just have to connect the previous password from the previous episode from the password that we're going to get for this episode so let's begin We have traveled quite a road in our goal of studying and learning Physical Education 12. So today in our last and final episode, let's narrow down what we've learned for the past few months. We have started our journey by knowing the very important definition of Health Optimizing Physical Education or HOPE. And then, we've learned how to self-assess health-related fitness or HRF status, the barriers to physical activity participation and one's diet, as well as the components of health-related fitness. And who would forget about the very important FIT principle? And to help us recall what FIT principle means, let's listen to Kyle. What's up, workout buddies? Today we will be working out for the first time in my life. And I am Crystal Kyle Kere, and let's get to business. Health is wealth. Maintaining a healthy lifestyle is crucial in our daily life, especially during this quarantine period. We can do this by following the FIT principle. 
F for frequency, and it refers to how frequent your workout is. I for intensity, and it is the amount of effort you are exerting. First D for type, this is the kind of exercise you have selected. And the last D for time, which is the duration of the exercise itself. So let's begin with the warm-up exercises. Warm-ups prevent injury and improve flexibility. I have been told that it's always good to start with your head. Gently tilt your head to the sides, up and down. Bring your shoulder to roll inward and outward. This enhances the strength of muscles nearest to your shoulder such as the arms. Gently pull your one arm across your chest. This develops the muscles in your arms. Raise your arm overhead and bend your upper body to the side. This warm-up flexes your spine and lengthen muscles. Raise your foot and stretch your ankles on all sides. This loosens the muscle and joint around your foot. Next, do jumping jacks. This increases your blood circulation and balances our heart rate. Finally, do squats. This strengthens your core and muscles in your lower body. Cooling down allows your body temperature, heart rate, and blood pressure to return to their normal levels. We should start with a gentle jog on the spot. Gently stretch your shoulders by pulling your arm across your chest while flexing your foot forward. Lie on your back and gently press your knee to your chest. This is a soothing counter pose to back bends and spinal twists. Finally, stretch your quadricep muscles. In a standing position, grab your knee with your hands and pull it to your chest. Then, grab your foot through the back and pull it towards your back. This has been your workout buddy, Kyle Ling. And always remember that it never gets easier. You just get better. See ya! Thank you very much, Kyle. And during the next phase of our journey, we've had different sports activities, such as the athletics, racket sports, Philippine indigenous sports and games, and sports that promote life skills. And to give us a sample, let's give it up for Janine. Good day, Mr. Bobit Bieber Interior. I am Janine Pionyar Polison, 17 years old from grade 12 STEM. And today I'm going to be performing this sport called table tennis, single player. Table tennis is basically hitting a small ball alternately using wooden paddles in a tabletop, and of course with opponents. So without further ado, let's play the game. Now we have come to the most exciting part of our final video lesson. I'll be giving you now the questions that you need to answer in essay form here in the comment section down below. But you have to remember that you need to be careful because the questions that I will be giving you will differ according to your strand. Okay, here are the questions. Now, here are the questions for STEM and ABM strands. First, how important is the health optimizing physical education to people? Second, how does sports benefit a certain person? Please make sure to comment down your answer with a minimum of 5 sentences for each item. Do not type the question. Follow this format. Name Section Answer number 1 Answer number 2 And after answering, Please make sure to share this video in your Facebook timeline and tag Mr. Bobit Bieber Lenteria to signify that you're done with the activity. And so, that's it for our last and final episode. 
Once again, in behalf of my co-PE teachers, Mr. Frank Anthony Mascarinas and Mr. Ever Centino, we thank you for being with us all throughout this journey and we hope to see you soon for our next virtual class. Once again, this has been Mr. Bobit Bieber Lenteria, your courtside reporter and your sports analyst and your PE teacher saying good day and may God bless us all. Stay home, stay safe, stay healthy. Take care, cause I care. Have a nice day.